Welcome to this video. This is going to be a what I got for my baby shower video. I don't have everything out here just because I did start washing some things and putting some things away before I made this video, but I tried to bring out as much that I could remember. And just in case if you're new here, I am 36 weeks pregnant and I did have two baby showers. I had one up in the UP where I live and then I had one downstate in lower Michigan where I'm from. And I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who ended up coming to our showers. It was so awesome seeing everyone who already is so excited to meet our little baby and um, anyone who blessed us with something, we're so thankful and we really appreciate it all. And I can't wait to get everything in his room and have him start using it once he's here. And I'm just gonna start going through things. I broke it down into six categories in case someone's watching this and is needing some tips on what to put on their baby registry. I definitely watched a ton of these videos to kind of like get an idea of different things that I need. And so the first category I'm gonna start with is bath or like bathing, anything related to that. Um, the first thing I'll just show are some towels. We got these, they're Cloud Island from Target. And we also got some washcloths, but I think I already started, oh wait, actually I have a pack here. Um, this little pack, I already started washing some of the other ones that we got, but it's just, they match the bath towels. And then also I got this little cup thing. It just rinses their hair and it like seals to their forehead so it helps not get soap and water in their eyes. And then we got a couple different body washes and shampoo. This one is the Young Living Seedlings Baby Wash and Shampoo. And this one is a Shea Moisture um, Baby Wash and Shampoo. And those are the things that we got for bath time. Um, we did get a lot more towels and washcloths, but I didn't want to like show them all in this video. I also registered for a baby bath. I registered for some other things too that we didn't end up getting, but I'm going to use some gift cards and money that people gifted us to purchase those items off of the registry, which will work out perfectly. And the next category I did was travel. So the first thing is this diaper bag. It's the Makalu diaper bag. I just found it on Amazon and it had good reviews. Um, it has like a bunch of different pockets and then it opens up from the top nice and wide. My sister said she really likes these because if you're somewhere and you have it open and you have to like get up and go quick, you can just like grab the handles and go. You don't have to worry about like zipping it all up because the stuff will stay inside. And then it also has this zipper in the back that you can open up and like get stuff out of the bottom of the backpack without having to like pull everything out, which I think will be handy. And then I also got this little itsy ritzy passy pod. Um, it just holds like pacifiers or like anything little that you want to like clip to the side and you don't want to like have them get dirty. We got this Jujube um, diaper pouch or just like any type of thing you want to keep in it. I think I'm going to keep maybe like some extra outfits or like something in here um, in case he like gets his outfit all gross. And we got the Jujube deluxe changing pad as well that I'm gonna be keeping in there. And it just opens up like this. And it has this little pouch on the side for diapers and wipes, which I think will be handy. Um, and then it just opens up like this. And then I also got the Sully Baby carrying wrap. I just got like the natural color. I can't remember the exact name, but I'm gonna try and link like a lot of this stuff down below, whatever I can find links to, just in case if you are interested in getting it for someone else or if you're looking to add it onto your registry but it's just one of those fabric wraps um, that you wrap around your body. And then I got this JJ Cole car seat cover. It has fleece on the inside. It's a little thicker. Um, here's like a picture of what it looks like, except I got the gray one, but this will be perfect for the winters because where we live, it gets freezing cold. So with walking him in and out of places, if it's snowing or any, or just since it's cold, it, this will be really nice to cover him up and keep him warm. And then I got this cover that you can use on grocery carts or high chairs, like public high chairs. You just put it over them and the baby can sit inside. And it also has like little clips to keep toys on, which I think will be nice because then um, like I can clip his toys on there and they won't be like falling on the ground. And the last thing for the travel category were these two um, car back seat organizers. They just hook to the back like main seats, the driver and the passenger seat. But I think these will be really handy because when we go to see our family, it's a six hour car trip. So I think if I'm able to like organize different toys and books and like just have them on hand, like snacks when he's old enough to eat snacks, um, it'll just make the car trips, I, I'm hoping a lot easier with him. And the next category I did was newborn essentials. So one thing I did were bottles. This is like a bottle brush. And then I got these Dr. Brown's bottles. And then I'm also gonna get the, I think Como Toma, I think they're called bottles. 
um, just in case he doesn't like these. But I just want to have like a couple on hand um, just in case if he needs to take bottles. And we also got this thermometer, which is really nice. I didn't even think about putting one of these on a registry, so I'm so glad someone got one for us um, because we'll definitely need them. And then I also got some pacifiers. So these are both Cutie Pat. This one, this one is the round one, and then this one is like the flat one. Um, but they're so cute. I love their pacifiers because they're just adorable and all the different colors are so cute. And then I also got these Avent ones. Um, I think these are the kind that the hospital gives you too. But I wanted to have another brand just in case if he doesn't like either of those two. We also got these cute little pacifier clips. These are Cutie Pat as well. Actually, that brand isn't Cutie Pat. That was all Ryan and Rose. The two pacifiers and then the two clips. And then these little um, utensils. It's like a spoon and then like a fork on the other side. And then we also got this diaper caddy. I can't remember the name of it. The logo is this like tree logo. I'll put the name of it on the screen. But I think this will be really nice because I can keep it next to our bed at night times, um, like whenever he needs his diaper changed or anything in the middle of the night. And then I can also just easily carry it out to the living room. Um, that way, like I can just change his diaper out in the living room. And then I can also carry it to his bedroom and we'll just have everything all in one spot, which will be really nice. But inside my mom just put some essentials, um, like some diapers and then wipes. And then I have these burp cloths. I think it's muslin material, I think is the name of it. But I just got them off of Amazon and I heard they were really nice to use. So we got two packs of these. I got these little receiving blankets from Target. They're the Just One You brand by Carter and they're really soft. And then we got the Frida Baby Nose Frida. And then we also got the Frida Baby like little fingernail clippers and then a little nail file kit. And then for little medicines, we got the little remedies. We got a gas relief drops and some saline drops for his nose. We also got some grape water. I just got the Mommy's Bliss. I just registered for that brand because that's I think what my sisters used and this just helps like if they have gas, hiccups, colic, fussiness, um, you just give them some of this and it's supposed to help them. And the next thing I did was baby gear or like kind of like bigger things to use for the baby. So first we have this swing and it's the Fisher Price Sweet Snuggle Puppy Dreams Cradle and Swing. And the thing I like about it, it rocks two different ways. So it can go side to side or you can turn the swing and then make it go like, it says head to toe is the motion. And then we also got this sound machine. It's just the Yoga Sleep Dome, D-O-H-M. I think it was from Target that we got it. We also got the Infant P-Tix or Infant P-T-I-C-S. I'm not sure exactly how you say it, but it's just the DXR8 baby monitor. And I'm excited to use this for him. We also got this little play mat. It's the Fisher Price Deluxe Kick and Play uh, piano gym. So it has like the little piano and then the toys that go over top. But I'm excited for once he's older and can start like playing with this and um, like reaching for his toys. And then we got the Ingenuity Smart Bounce Automatic Bouncer. So I think it has like, I think it's like a vibration motion in it. I don't think it like technically bounces up and down, but the baby just makes it bounce up and down. And we also got the Boppy pillow. I got the bare naked one and then I got this cover. I'm not sure exactly the name of the cover, but I'll try and link it down below. Um, but it's just like the green leaves and then the back is this um, green with like little dots on it. And then we also registered for the Snuggle Me Baby Lounger. My sister really recommended it, so I wanted to get it. Um, it's kind of like an investment piece, I guess you could say, but I wanted to get it for our first baby so that we could use it for every baby afterwards. And I just got the natural, um, the natural cover and then also the natural like base of it. And then the last item for the gear category was this Fisher Price Sit Me Up floor seat. Um, it's all in this box and there's no pictures on it, but I'll insert a picture of what it looks like. So the baby basically can just sit up in it when they can't sit up by themselves. It's also kind of like the bumbo seat, um, but this is like fabric and I think probably easier to put your baby in and out of. And then the next category I did was toys. So first off, I'll show you this little stuffed animal that someone got for us. And it also is like a rice bag. So out of the back, you just take out this um, this little bag. And I think it's like little like beads of something that you can warm up in the microwave. And then you put it back in the animal. And then it's just kind of warm for them. Um, this will be really nice for like in the car when he can start holding on to stuffed animals in the winter. Because again, it gets really cold up here. So this will be nice to like warm up right before we go out to the car. And then it can keep his hands warm. 
And then next for toys, I got this Winkle. I heard that little kids really like them. Um, like when they're first learning to grab onto things, it's like easy for them to find something to grab onto. And we also got one of these little toys, it's called a dimple. And it basically just like pops, like all these little things pop. Um, he probably won't be able to use this until he's like a little older and can like use his hands a little better. But I've also heard that these keep kids entertained for a good amount of time. We also got this little infant toothbrush, it's called, um, but it just has rubber bristles, and I heard they're nice for, like, when babies are teething and stuff, um, but they really like chewing on these. And I wanted to show this cute little wooden giraffe. You can, like, move all the pieces around and, like, change which way they go, um, but it's just a little Melissa and Doug toy, but it's so cute. And we also got this little stuffed animal for him. It's a Gund, G-U-N-D is how they spell it but it's just a cute little stuffed animal. And then the last thing for the toy category is this book. Um, this one is the Baby Faces book, but it's the brand I think is Indestructibles, but it's just basically a book that they can like chew on, they can crinkle like anything and it doesn't rip the book. And it's like paper, but they're, it's not paper. I'm not 100% sure what it is, but they're also washable, which is really nice too. So you can just throw them in the wash machine. And then the last category is clothes and blankets. And we got a ton of clothes and blankets, which is awesome because we're going to be going through them like crazy. But I just wanted to show like a few of like little boutique brand stuff, just like stuff that you can't see in store personally. Um, so the first thing is this swaddle blanket. It's the Jack and Jay Designs, but it's just this big swaddle blanket and it's in this like blue green color, which is really pretty. And then I got this copper pearl swaddle blanket, which I really love. It's in the color camel and these are just like jersey net fabric. So it's just like really stretchy fabric. And my sister-in-law said she really loved these swaddles for swaddling her baby, but they're super soft and really good quality. And then I also got this other copper pearl blanket. The back side is a camel and then the front is this gray with like a white, um, maybe fishbone design. I'm not sure if that's exactly the name of the design, but it's also really nice. Um, this is just like that swaddle blanket material, but I think it's three layers of it. So it's a little thicker, a little heavier. And I think it was 46 by 46, but I'm not 100% sure. But again, I'll link all of this stuff down below. So if you're interested in it, or if you want to get it for someone else, I highly recommend the copper pearl swaddle blanket and this I think it's called the three layer quilt and then for the clothes the first shop that someone got me things from was Kate Quinn so there's this little it's six to twelve month and then it has this little like pocket in the front which is really cute and then it just snaps at the bottom um, but I really like this orange color it's really pretty and then also this green color um, this one is three to six months and it's just like a plain front and then it has these cute little buttons on the shoulder and then it snaps on the bottom again. This one has feet on it. But this, everything from the shop, the material is so soft. I really recommend it. Um, the girl that got these for me said she loves putting her baby in these clothes. And then also this adorable blue, this is a size newborn. So I think we're gonna use this like for his coming home outfit as long as it fits him, which hopefully it will because it's so adorable. And the last piece of clothing and also the last thing that I wanted to show is this little sleep gown from Lulu and Company. It's just the knotted gown. I'm not sure what the name of this color is, but it's just kind of like a brown or like a tan color. And I love it. It's so cute. My sister just had her baby the other day and she said she's been using this the whole time in the hospital and just loved it. But it has these little buttons on the front and then the base is like this and then you just um, like once they're in there, you just knot it around the bottom. You just tie it on the bottom like this and it just keeps their legs in and then it's nice and easy to just untie and push up to change their diaper and then just pull it back down and retie it. There's no like snaps or buttons or zippers that you have to mess with, but I love this and this is in the size newborn, so this will fit them right away. But that's mostly everything that I got from my baby showers. Again, thank you so much to anyone who came and blessed us with something. Now I'm so excited to go and get all of his clothes ready and put everything in his nursery. There's still some other things that we need to get, like his car seat and a stroller, um, just things like that that were kind of bigger items that people just gifted us, gift cards and money, um, which I'm gonna use that to go towards those. But I'll put that in a future video too, just whenever they come in the mail, just so I can kind of give like a little review if you're looking to get that brand and you just wanna know more about it. But thank you for watching this video. I hope if you were watching it, to get ideas for what to put on your baby registry that this helped. If you have any questions about any of the items or what I think of any of them, 
or like the brands that I picked. You can just comment those below. And if you're just watching to see what I got from my showers, this is what I got. So thank you again for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye.